Hey guys, East Tennessee Prepper here doing a quick video on what I have seen today in uh, some of our local stores. First off, let me say if you enjoy this video, find it informative or any of my other videos, please consider subscribing. Now, yesterday evening, the alarm was sounded by the CDC to the United States population that spread of the coronavirus or COVID-19 is imminent. Um, if you don't know what that means, it essentially says, yeah, well, it's coming. And uh, you could bank on it. It's, you know, once you consider how influenza and some of these stomach viruses and uh, cold spread throughout the United States and what steps we don't take to contain it, you can guarantee it is coming. Um, ooh, will it wipe us out? No. Uh, will it, uh, there is a certain population that I am worried about. We'll talk about that in another video more than anything else. Um, there's some economic repercussions that can happen from this that can be quite severe. So, um, it is what it is. So, anyway, I hope you guys are prepared. If you're not, you are going to see what I saw today. And I did go to Walmart today. Um, I needed to get a few bottles of Microban. Now, I do have Clorox wipes, uh, bleach, Lysol spray, you know the normal garden variety. I do like Microban because Microban, the, the issue is if you spray a surface with Lysol, uh, it kills on contact and then once it dries, you can actually reinfect that, uh, that surface uh, within a matter of minutes and rendering what you just did null and void. Uh, Microban actively, uh, the, you know, the germicidal actively fights and kills continuously bacteria, different types of uh, influenza, uh, respiratory viruses for 24 hours. So look into it, see if it's, you know, something that you would want to get uh, a little over three and a half dollars a bottle. Uh, so I grab it, I trust it, I like it, and uh, just see if it's best for you. I'm not going to push any product, I don't get paid by anybody. So uh, if I do see something that I, I think could be of use, I will relay that information over to you. So while I was there getting these bottles, I decided to look around a little bit. And uh, sure enough, uh, you know, as you know, the CDC sounded the, sounded the alarm. It's, it's going to go through. And, and what we are seeing today is not a panic, but more or less an escalated concern is what I would call it. First off, when I pulled into the parking lot, see, I like to shop during hours that are nowhere near peak time. I stay away during the weekends if I can. Uh, most people around here get paid on a Friday. And uh, obviously you don't go to Walmart the next few days after that. And so I avoid it in. I don't go to when people are, you know, mostly getting off work from day shift. Uh, Wednesday around noon's a good time to go. Uh, that's what I did today or any other time i like to go really really late one two o'clock in the morning um, to avoid the crowds if i can so as i was looking through walmart uh, the first thing that caught my attention is the aisleway displays are now full of uh, hand sanitizer uh, clorox wipes lysol wipes lysol sprays um, and um, that's everywhere out there masks are completely gone from the cheapest to the expensive that Walmart has, they are all gone. There are only maybe a couple of boxes at my Walmart left of uh, vinyl uh, gloves or any other gloves for that for that fact. Um, all gone. And so that was pretty quick. Uh, goggles still still pretty plentiful, uh, which means people aren't thinking about eye protection. <sighs> Food-wise, um, I mean, the population in Walmart was, was was much larger than what I'm used to on a Wednesday at that time. And to my surprise, the rice section, five-pound bags as an example, has been hit hard. Uh, ramen noodles hit hard. Canned meats hit hard. Um, things of that nature. Uh, I'm starting to see some empty shelf space in here. And um, sadly predictable, uh, most of the population is not prepared and will wait to the last moment. And if you have waited until the CDC has sounded that alarm last night, well, you're one of those. And um, 
you know, you will have a few more challenges than some of us have had that have spent time uh, putting it back. But regardless of the situation, whether you were able to do it then or you're just now getting into it, um, don't let anybody bring you down on that just as long as you know that you need to prepare for it. Now, do I believe this virus is going to wipe us out? Absolutely not. I believe uh, the majority of the population will have mild care, uh, cases. Unfortunately, they will be a walking incubator that will affect the population that has pre-existing conditions, autoimmune, um, people that are fighting cancer, uh, you know, weakened immune systems. You're going to be carrying that around, and that's going to affect them, and uh, the likelihood of them dying jumps up uh, exponentially. So we will talk more. I've got a series of videos that are fixing to come out over the next few days. Next video I'm fixing to cover is how this is imminent, how it is going to spread, and then we're going to go from there. But um, that's what I'm seeing so far. Um, I did go to Lowe's, mask gone. Uh, the Dollar General, as an example, uh, the dollar stores, if you go and look at their section where they've got a few tools, automotive stuff, uh, Kansas spray paint, you will find uh, particle masks, uh, which are a little better than what I call the accordion mask. You know, um, those masks are all bit useless after 20 minutes, guys, and we're, we're going to talk about that too. And these are a little bit better. Uh, they're not as good as the N95. Uh, the N95, in my opinion, is the minimum that you should have if you're able to obtain it. If not, something is better than nothing. Okay. Now, um, those masks were gone. Now, the dollar store would carry those particle masks, 10 for a dollar, and uh, all those are gone now, too, in my area. So I'm very curious to see or hear about what you are um, are seeing in your area if you're out and about today. If not, don't worry about making a special trip. Just uh, leave it down in the comments below. Make a uh, response video, uh, whatever. Just uh, communicate with me. Tell me what you're saying, what your thoughts are on it. And uh, outside that, I'll see you guys in a few minutes with my pandemic video. So, all right, guys.